Hello everyone! As you can already see from the title, me and my friend Rose are headed out to KL and playing tourists for the day. Doesn't that sound exciting? Anyways, since it was Deepa Valley during the time we went there, there are many places that we wanted to go that was either closed or the queue was too long for us to wait. So we decided to just go with the flow and visit wherever, whenever. Our first stop is brunch, and we visited this noodle shop called Life Fun Lala Noodle Shop. We tried a few of the signature dishes, and my personal favorite was the sanghamin. I liked that the flavor wasn't too overpowering, and the noodles was not too soggy, having the right amount of chewiness. Next, we headed to Rex KL, one of the top tourist attractions people would go to when visiting KL. The last time I visited here, the second floor was under renovation, so there was nothing to see. But this time... I got interrupted. But anyways, there was an ice cream shop, a vintage bookstore, and even a small pottery ceramics exhibition corner, which was really cute. But apparently it's open for a short period of time only, closing on the 12th of November, if my research is correct. So by this time this video is released, I believe it's already closed. Well, if you're interested, you can always go there and check it out for yourself and see. We're here at Rex KL. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> Let's read Baby Shot. Never mind. I have a pen. I have an apple. Oh. <laughs> After some time of window shopping, cultural pieces that we can't afford, we couldn't help ourselves and got some ice cream at this ice cream shop, which actually contained alcohol in a lot of their ice creams. We got the one in feeling peachy flavor, which tasted more lemon than the actual peach itself. Ready? Go! Later on, we walked around the street figuring out where to go and came across Nico Neko, a matcha cafe which I've been dying to try out because of all the good things I hear about it. And hands down, it was one of the best matcha places I've tried. There are different flavors of matcha which I had no idea of. The place was quite small compared to what I imagined, but overall 10 out of 10 experience. My only comment is I wish they had higher tables because those low coffee tables was kind of hard to eat the food. We went there just right before the peak hours, so we didn't have much of a waiting time than what people say. If you're a matcha lover, definitely come and give it a try and share me your thoughts in the comments below too. Next, we went to another cafe nearby because me and Rose are just not fit for the weather at all. Personally, I wouldn't recommend coming here. The place wasn't as unique as shown in the pictures and the prices were quite high for something as simple as what we ordered. After sheltering ourselves from the rain for a few hours, we headed to the infamous Kuai Chai Hong. She means Gui Zai Xiang, standing for Little Ghost Lane in English. The place was really unique and if it wasn't for the Deepa Valley holidays, I would have wanted to try out some of the restaurants here. Our final stop is Fla Bakery. I love the name. Fla! Okay, sorry. We entered the place and I'm so happy to have come here. The place was really chill and on top of that, their food and coffee is like the cherry on top. Definitely recommend to come here and try it out. By 5pm, it rained heavily again, so we ended up heading home earlier than planned. Hope you enjoyed this video of us fake playing tourists as Malaysians and I'll be back here for more different contents on my not so boring, boring life. Bye! Bye bye!